Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. Another weekend has passed and there was a lot of action from the world of motorsport with a couple of series, namely DTM and TCR Europe, coming to an end in spectacular fashion. We also have British touring cars from Donington Park and world touring cars coming from Most in the Czech Republic. This was pretty much touring car week, so remember to subscribe and let's begin. Let's start with DTM and the championship finale from the Norris Ring. An exciting little track with hairpins and close walls, the perfect location for a dramatic season closing round. There was the usual chaos at the start, something about 20 cars heading into a hairpin at the start of a race not being a good idea, and Philip Ellis led the way early on, until he spun and left the Mercedes of Maximilian Gotze in the lead of the race. Liam Lawson and Kelvin van der Linde were the other title contenders and they were battling away in third and fourth. Nick Cassidy joined the action in the second Ferrari for this weekend and almost inserted himself in this battle. He and Kelvin van der Linde would make contact but the young South African stayed ahead. But with Gotze winning and Arjun Miney having his best race of the season in second, ahead of Lawson and van der Linde, it left Lawson with an 18 point lead over van der Linde and Goetze a further point away. It was Liam Lawson's title to lose. He had a good lead and only needed a top six finish in the final race to be champion. Surely Lawson and Ferrari were going to wrap this up. Well, the second race started with massive drama. Kelvin van der Linde dive-bombed Liam Lawson at the start, who made contact with teammate Cassidy as well, and Liam Lawson was hobbled. Nick Cassidy was at the back and van der Linde continued in third with Gotze just behind. They both had to win to be champion, and a race-long game of chess began in earnest. The Lamborghini of Muth hit the wall and Degrassi was also spun, but Liam Lawson continued on with damage and went lap after lap down on the leaders as he watched on helplessly as his championship hopes slipped away. But more drama was yet to come. Both Arjun Miney and Nico Muller were running well, as well as they have all year, but Muller took out Miney and they both slipped back. At around the same time, Kelvin van der Linde pitted from the lead and came out in front of Goetze. They made pretty heavy contact but seemed to get away with it until the next set of corners when van der Linde's tyre went down and he spun, leaving Goetze in third place chasing his Mercedes brethren. Both Lucas Aura and Philip Ellis slowed down to let him through into the lead of the race and the championship crown. Nick Cassidy was Liam Lawson's last hope and he did his best to attack all four Mercedes in front of him but he made heavy contact with Philip Ellis and retired from the race. Goetze wins the championship, just three points ahead of Liam Lawson who must be absolutely gutted. It was a scrappy end to the season but a very entertaining one. Goetze as champion is a bit of an outside shock, he has never finished higher than 20th in the last two years of DCM. The new format has worked, it's been nice having Ferrari, Lamborghini, McLaren join the grid alongside BMW, Audi and Mercedes and hopefully the momentum continues into 2022. World Touring Cars is back after a two month break and it brought us action from Most in the Czech Republic. Homeboy Petter Fullin had managed to get his Cupra on pole but he had a clutch problem. This dropped him into the pack at the start and this led to disaster as he was turned around taking Nathaniel Berton with him. The Hondas of Esteban Guerreri and Nesta Girolami grabbed first and second with a pack of Cyans behind them. This remained the order for the rest of the race with the Argentinian pair taking the pick of the spoils. Race 2 started with even more damage at the first corner. Tarquini had broken steering and couldn't avoid Santiago Arusha whose championship challenge really went up in flames this weekend. Rob Huff also ended up in the gravel and Attila Tassi also retired. Jean-Carl Vernet was another title challenger who lost ground after getting a drive through penalty but it was Norbert Mikulitz who took the win ahead of Mikel Ascona, Esteban Guerreri and Jan Erlache. Erlache still leads the charge but Ascona and Guerreri close up slightly despite not winning a race this year. They are two of the few who haven't won. There has been 10 winners from 10 races so far and with some big names still yet to win, Ivan Muller, Ted Bjork and Rob Huff also haven't won a race yet. Anything could happen with just 6 races to go. 
British touring cars next from Donington Park. Ashley Sutton has a habit of surviving no matter what, whilst his various title rivals take points off each other. Jake Hill was the first to suffer. He collided with Adam Morgan, who did some big damage to his BMW. Hill continued, but at the back. Gordon Shedden took his first win since returning, and Turkington finished ahead of Sutton. Race 2 saw Tom Ingram come through the pack from 11th to 1st. He took the flag, but was penalised, and Shedden took win 2. Turkington was running well, but spun with a few laps left and finished 11th, which turned out to be a good strategy, as he was on pole for race 3. Sam Smell and Jack Butel collided and brought out the safety car, not before Tom Ingram pushed past Ash Sutton. This was another quiet race and Colin Turkington took his 60th career win, matching Andy Rouse. The pair are equally the most successful touring car drivers of all time, the only two with four championships, although Colin has Matt Neal and Jason Plato in front of him on wins. Ashley Sutton still leads the championship with a 32 point gap to Turkington. It's going to take something happening to him to lose this championship and he is so consistent I don't see it going down that way. My money is on a third Ash Sutton championship win at just 27 years of age. Finally TCR Europe from Barcelona and another championship coming to a close. Mikel Ascona took the first race win and the championship fairly comfortably in the end. There were a few spinners. Tom Coronel was knocked round and Ruben Fernandez ended up in the gravel. Franco Girolami needed to win but ended the race 16th. As Kona didn't even bother turning up for race 2, he was racing in the World Touring Cars on the Sunday, but it was another Volcano Motorsport Cupra who took the second win. Klim Gavrilov got his first win, the first Russian to win in the series since Alexei Dudukalu won the very first TCR Europe Series race all the way back in 2016 in a race that basically just had eight Russian drivers. The first championship was weird. Ascona took his second TCR Europe Championship and is in contention for the pure ETCR and World TCR titles as well. Can he win all three championships in 2021? So that was all the touring car action from the past weekend. Not a lot of racing still to go in 2021 for a lot of series. But we say goodbye to TCR Europe and the DTM for another year. Next week we have the final round of pure ETCR as well as more world touring cars. The penultimate round of the World Rally Championship in Spain and Super Formula is back. So remember to subscribe, leave a comment, a like and a share. Thank you for watching and have a good one.